There, here it is. Hey, what's going on? Spreaker Channel 1, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. A couple of the, couple of the video or uh, audio together here. Amen. All right, let's get that together. Uh, a little bit of a cold, kind of a summery cold going on. I don't know. I think the allergies or something is happening here. So, uh, and let me get uh, the microphone again. All right, let's, hey, we're live. Let's go ahead and grab that intro. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. There it is, friends. How are you doing tonight? Well, this afternoon, I know, early. A uh, little like a second uh, service here. Spreaker, how are you doing? Uh, all right, let's grab, let's see, let me share everything together here. Before we go live on, let's see, lights, lights, uh, a little bright, but, um, well, I don't know how that's going to be, but uh, I guess I probably should have covered up, but it's going to be bright, my friends. Uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, pull down the shades there in the studio, so, all right, let's, let's go ahead and go live here. Let's see. All right, there it is. Tin Can, you guys are with me today. How are you doing, Pastor Rick here? Uh, let's get to Channel 4. All right, Channel 4, Spreaker.com. Let's get going here. There's our intro. That's right. How are you doing, friends? A little early afternoon. Uh, let's go to, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and go before we go live, uh, my friends. Let's go ahead and go live on Radio.co. All right, there it is, Radio.co, Pastor Rick Worldwide, live ministry podcast network. Friends, that's right, we are live. How are you doing this early afternoon? Oh, uh, so much to <laughs> reset here. Uh, amen. Give me a minute. And of course, the sleeping laptops as usual. All right, let's go ahead and get our get our uh, what is it? Our setup here on this early afternoon. I know everybody say, hey, "What are you doing?" I'm well. I just had an opportunity to go on live uh, since it's pretty quiet in the studio here. Uh, amen. So there's our feedback live on uh, Block Talk Radio. And let's go ahead and go live right now, friends, on Melon TV. And again, I didn't close the curtains. I don't. I thought it was going to be okay, but it's pretty bright. So we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. Let's go, friends. All right. Countdown Melon TV live this afternoon. Amen. All right. There it is. Almost forgot to uh, set that channel up there so we could see it. Um, <laughs> so bear with me. We're getting ready here, friends. Uh, we're going live. Let's see if I can. Uh, my chair's broke. So uh, anyway, let's uh, see what happens here. Live, 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 my friends. Uh, counting down on, uh, counting down on Melon TV. Haven't been on this channel in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and go back in and uh, do an update live here. We'll do about an hour or so, hour and a half or so, and then we'll see how it goes tonight, friends. I'll probably get on there. Uh, back later on tonight, uh, a little after 11 o'clock. So we're going to see how things go. And again, sorry about the bright lights, my friends. I did not, uh, kind of forgot to do that. All right, there it is, my friends. Let's get that cross uh, straightened out here. You're live on the air, Melon TV, uh, for the 9th of June already. How you doing, Pastor Rick? We're on the Live Ministry Podcast Network, friends. Hey, we're live on Block Talk Radio. We've got Tin Can in the house, uh, Spreaker, Channel 1 and 4 uh, going right now. And, of course, our wonderful friends over at Radio.co UK. 
uh, friends. How are you doing for a Friday? That's right, the 9th. Just thought I'd get on here just a little bit earlier than uh, I usually do. Uh, only just because I had an opportunity, and uh, I said, "Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see how we could do this, uh, friends." So we're here, Melon TV, excellent. Uh, try to get some of the bugs worked out and uh, some of the uh, Wi-Fi problems that I usually have, and uh, so hopefully it'll work and uh, we'll get this uh, recorded. Uh, and I should be live back tonight after 11 o'clock on StreamYard TV. Got some new designs, uh, a couple of new videos I did uh, set up on uh, Canva. Got that covered. So, uh, yeah, so I said, well, it's early afternoon. Why don't we go ahead and at least get on for an hour or so. Uh, I have a, had to take uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off uh, to try to regroup a little bit, get some Bible study taken care of and uh, work on some uh, messages so you know of course the study so all right so you got you got to be move that out of the way you got my podcast supplies list uh, over here fresh water fresh cup of coffee on a backup and of course uh, some white out there and uh, you know some of my podcast supplies Amen, and that is awesome. And of course, all the way here on the other side, I had to grab that uh, fresh cup of coffee. So let me straighten this out. I don't know what's going on with that, but I moved the uh, I moved the uh, boom the uh, the boom arm back uh, just a little bit here, uh, just so I could get some uh, kind of room there and some space in between stuff. Well, listen, we're going to get serious. We're going to pull it right in here and uh, get some uh, podcast Bible study live this afternoon. Uh, amen, friends. And again, let me double check my, let me double check that cross. I have been working on this section, this corner here uh, for a while today and uh, this morning and, and straighten some stuff out. Probably get rid of the, uh, the backdrop here. I'm, I'm planning on putting some plywood all the way across like the corner here uh, all this stuff here is going to be all the way across the background uh, so you're going to get that fresh fence looking uh, background here which is going to be great um, you know we had some extra so I thought I'd go ahead and use it and uh, you know get get that stuff in there so amen all right let me go before we pray it in here let me go ahead and uh, Get that out of the way. Monitor here in the middle for channel four. Uh, channel, which I didn't, well, I did change it, I guess. Channel three here. And then, of course, uh, channel two on this side. And then we've got the main uh, setup here. So, anyway, come on in, my friends. I know. How are you doing? How, how's it going, friends, for you? Uh, you know, I hope everything's going well. You made it. It's the weekend. Uh, relax. Put your feet up. Uh, chill out and get, uh, yeah, uh, friends, uh, <laughs> so I hope you, I hope you're doing well. I really do. Amen. All right. So let me make one more. Well, not probably not one more, but maybe a, a couple more readjustments on my microphone here. It feels like I'm leaning into, uh, the camera here. So let me. Let me see what's going on with that. And that's probably not a good idea here. Bear with me, you guys. Uh, I knew it was something. There it is. My uh, headset uh, for the mixer is uh, got tangled up in the cords and stuff. So anyway, listen, we're going to pray it right in, friends. We, we're going to just get right to the podcast uh, as I continue to make uh, suggest or uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, as I continue to make adjustments, not suggestions. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you guys are here. Let's get to it. Melon TV Live, friends. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you again for these opportunities that I get to spend here in the Word. How awesome. And uh, what a great calling and uh, great mission you call, uh, put me on and called me to. I thank you for that. Father God, I... 
uh, I want to pray for family, friends, everybody watching, hearing, new subscribers, old subscribers, uh, viewers, uh, and all, of course, everyone connected, Father God. Uh, as we uh, just thank you and uh, you know appreciate uh, your what you've done and continue to do in our lives. Uh, just you know this peace and uh, uh, just. Uh, Oh, just the uh, encouragement and the peace of mind that you give us, Father God. It's amazing. So we have to lean on you, trust in you, and hold on to that cross. Because we know the devil's time is short, and he is doing everything he can, Father God, to uh, to do what he needs to do. And Well, we got to do what we got to do here. So thank you, Father God, again. I appreciate that, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you know, my, our friends and family and everybody out there. Uh, now, again, Jehovah Jireh, thank you for this calling. Thank you for giving me the strength and encouragement to uh, continue through all the trials and tribulations. You know, this hasn't been easy. And, uh, of course, the devil comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy. And he wants to, you know, uh, he wants to uh, use his uh, fear and discouragement. We're not listening to that. I'm not listening to it. I'm just going to keep plowing right on through the, the mission that you called me to. Uh, Father God, so thank you. Uh, as uh, again, I pray over Wi-Fi connections, uh, all that, and uh, pray for the channels here, and uh, you know, just uh, give it over to you, uh, Father God. I just give all this over to you, and uh, I want to encourage our viewers, our family, friends. Again, encourage them and uh, give them that strength, and again, that peace that you give us, Father God. Uh, as we go through our days and of course our situations so again thank you and thank you uh father god for the, these opportunities i get here and i pray it in Jesus' name we pray uh, right now church uh you know for this church and your church father god uh amen all right, well, how are you doing, my brothers and sisters? Wow, I know it's been a few days. Uh, again, give me a second. My laptops are sleeping. Uh, today, there it is. <laughs> uh, you know, it's the usual. So, well, again, I have a reset uh, podcast for later on tonight at about 11. I'm hoping to get on there. Uh, you know, I, I hope to uh, get on there. Like I said, I had a, an opportunity here in the studio uh, to go ahead and, and get live and go live here. So thank you guys for being so patient and all that. And uh, you know, everything that goes on with the mission here, the ministry, uh, and the podcast, you know, uh, friends, uh, you know, I just hadn't, things have been pretty hectic and, uh, you know, as always. And so I, 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 I never know when I get a chance to get on here, all the interference during the daytime, uh, from the other, uh, minister that's around, uh, you know, and we've talked about that plenty of times, so I'm going to let that one go. But, uh, you know, so that's why I, I, all the podcasts always have to go late night. So uh, usually to, you know, some, some as late as five o'clock in the morning. But uh, I just didn't, you know, the opportunities and uh, all the, everything's going on. So I was like, well, I've got my studies kind of halfway finished and, you know, I uh, got a few things taken care of, so I was like, well, let's let's settle down and have some church this afternoon. Why not, you know? And, uh, you know, plus test uh, test run on some of the equipment here and make sure uh, it's, uh, you know, it's working and, and going well. So, uh, amen. All right, well, listen, we're going to get right into it. You're live on the air. Melon TV again here, friends. Uh, usually... Melon TV is uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, so I said, hey, it's Friday. Let's uh, go ahead and jump on here, uh, friends. So thank you guys again for uh, your patience, your support. Uh, it's amazing, and I, and I thank you guys for that. I really do, uh, and especially all the new subscribers. Boy, the, the numbers have been climbing, and, and it's like I tell everybody, hey, it's not me. It's God, you know, 
in ear to hear, right? Amen. All right, let's get into our podcast notes. We're going to go all the way through to our uh, to our armor of God, of course, in Ephesians six ten through twenty, and then we're just going to go kind of recap some scriptures here in this first part. Well, after two o'clock, let's get to it, friends. Uh, amen. Now let's uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a volume level check up here. There it is. Good thing I have my monitor or my mixer over here. I like to tell you. Probably told you that or said that a million times here, but I originally had the mixer way over here on the, on the other side. I could get to it, fa- you know, I have to just set it and kind of leave it. But I, I've moved it and got kind of a little uh, desk set up here. So it works. Hey, Amen. Anyway, let's get some church. Friends, come on in. Doors are open. Uh, have a seat, my friends. Grab your Bibles, coffee, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And uh, let's get into the Friday early afternoon podcast here, Friends Live on Melon TV. All right. Bless you and thank you guys. I really appreciate your time and uh, hanging out and, and just cruising on into the church here this afternoon and, and uh, you know, having some, uh, having some service here. All right. Let's go ahead and move that there. Volume level check on... Uh, aisle one, channel one. There you go. All right, let's get to it, friends. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. Uh, I uh, want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Now, please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead at this very moment, friends, right here. I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart for the, uh, from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name we pray, friends, right now. Amen. And amen. All right. Let's go ahead and maneuver that. All right. Let's get to the notes. Of course, we're going to go right into our serenity prayer, friends. Amen. Sorry about all that. Uh, <laughs> we, you know, I, I I knew the light was going to be an issue. I didn't. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking. Well, you know, it's all right. Let's get to it, friends. How about that serenity prayer? Now, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the wisdom to know the difference, right? To change the things I can. There you go. I know. I'm reading my notes right here. I I got them right here, friends. Amen. Uh, Enjoying one moment at a time, of course. uh, Accepting hardships as the pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is. Not as I would have it. Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. Then I may be reasonably happy in this uh, in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Church, we got to say amen to that, right? All right, let's go ahead and grab the Lord's Prayer, friends. Amen. All right, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, friends. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread as we, and forgive us our uh, our trespasses, of course. Uh, hang on here. Let's see, what do I need to do? All right. Fall, the, the, channel fell asleep over here i had to wake him up a little bit anyway (laughs) he says forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil church for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever don't forget that amen and amen all right. How about that uh, armor of God, friends? Amen. We got to put that on every single day. That's right. All right. Finally, my family, brothers and sisters. Amen. Church. He says to, and tells us to be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, uh, and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God. Uh, amen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching uh, thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth, uh, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And there you go. Armored up, my friends. You got to do that every single day, no matter what you feel like. You got to get up there and, uh, you know, put your armor on. It's, it's a battlefield out there, right? All right, good enough. Let's see. We got coffee. Amen. I have to go over on this side a little bit. Just because of my, my, you know, the space over here, I don't, I don't have a lot of room, so I'm kind of maneuvering stuff around uh, what I got, you know, what what's happening there. So, amen. All right, what do we got here? I got, I got the mouses uh, underneath the pulpit here, so I'm having to. Uh, that way, I can maneuver channel four around here eventually you know how that goes i'll get you know maybe some space or room or something up here i don't know my friends all right brand new glass hopefully that works uh amen so how you doing what what's going on you guys uh you know i appreciate y'all dropping by the channel again uh, let me go real quick here to the channel. I want to make sure I'm still on recording. Uh, amen. And uh, I believe it's still recording here. So I had to make sure the end video uh, was set. We have some new update uh, for Melon TV. And uh, I wanted to make sure I, I included a conclusion. Uh, since I haven't been on here in a bit. Uh, yep, I did. Okay, good. Um, awesome. All right. Well, there you go, uh, friends. Uh, I have a, I, I do have one set up. I didn't, I thought I didn't, but I do. Amen. All right. Good enough. Good to know here, friends. All right. Um, let's see. So I, I changed the schedule around you guys. I told you that already. Uh, before and um, had a chance to rework it. So Tuesdays and Fridays, usually about 10:30 is Melon TV. But uh, I kind of said, well, let's go ahead and just, you know, I'm on here now. Let's go ahead and set this up now. So anyway, it I, I'm here. You're you're here, and uh, you know, hey, I appreciate y'all dropping by. All right, well, let's uh, let's see. Let's get to our set of scriptures here, friends. Give me a minute. Let me grab my uh, grab my schedule. Amen. We've got uh, we're gonna kind of go back a little bit here, brothers and sisters. We're gonna kind of go back to some older notes, older scriptures again. First uh, Corinthians, uh, and we're going to look at chapters 1 through 3 here, friends. I want to go ahead and get back into that again. Uh, powerful message in there, as always. So bear with me here. Just kind of updating a couple of things here. All right, so let's go ahead and go into it here, friends. Again, uh, <laughs> hey, we had all kinds of adjustments. So, chapter 1 in the book of 1 Corinthians, friends, let's go ahead and take a look at it here again. Now, Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ, through the will of God, and Sophonis, our brother, 
unto the church of God which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ, Jesus called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace uh, from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf uh, for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, friends. Amen. All right. Then in everything you are enriched by him. In all utterance, uh, in all knowledge, 1 Corinthians 12, 8, for the side scripture there, uh, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians 3, 20, who shall also conform, uh, confirm you in the end, or unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, church. Amen, right? Uh, by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, let's see, Isaiah 49, 7. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment, Romans twelve sixteen, For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that uh, there are no contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. John 1, 42. Now, he, or he says here, friends, he, he looks at this and says, uh, is Christ divided? Right? Was Paul crucified for you, or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? Thank God notes here. Uh, thank God that I baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I baptized in my own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. 1 Corinthians 2, one. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Uh, but unto us which are saved, it is, church, the power of God. Amen. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise uh, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. So there you go. Uh, where, in verse 20, he says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Job 12:17. 21, for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Clearly, we see this every day more and more. It's amazing to me. Now, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Matthew eleven twenty five 25 and Romans 1, 20. Uh, amen. All right. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom, church. But we preach, as I get my notes together, he says in 23, but we preach, friends, Christ crucified of the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jew and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. All right. Romans 1 4, 1 Corinthians 1 18, friends. 
uh, because the foolishness of God is wiser than man. Although, you know, we could commentate on that, uh, you know, I, which I'm not going to. But anyway, uh, as he says at 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. First Corinthians here, of course. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. John 7, 48. But God had chosen the foolishness, he says, the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Friend, right there. Psalm 8, 2. And base things of the world, the things which are despised, has God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are, right? As we look at uh, the glory of the Lord here, friends. All right, that no flesh should glory in his presence. We got Romans 3.27. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Jeremiah 23.5. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him, friends, glory in the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah 9.23. Now, Let's go on to chapter uh, 2 here in um, 1 Corinthians. So he says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Galatians, uh, hang on here. Uh, <laughs> I got... My laptops just fall asleep. I don't know. What's up, something in settings I'm missing. Anyway, we're in chapter 2, 1 Corinthians here. In verse 2, For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified, Galatians 6, 14. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. That's right there for us. And my speech and my preaching was not of an, uh, with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit uh, and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. But, my friends, here you go again, laying it out for you. That's why I wanted to go to 1 uh, Corinthians. In the power of God my friends amen right come on now oh that's powerful friends that's good that's good scripture here for you amen <laughs> let me go ahead i feel like i'm really like far away from the uh from the microphone i don't know why it's doing that but uh let's see got nope that's there <laughs> i got those little mice that keep telling me about it i i got four Mice, mouse for the laptops here. So I, I, I got an additional laptop uh, set up. And I told you in the last podcast, three monitors here. Uh, God's given me increase. Uh, and friends that are helping, I appreciate you guys too, by the way. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, it, it's it's been a long it's been a long battle. I've been working hard at this. And uh, I'm grateful. Thank you guys again. Always, I, like a million times, I always repeat myself like so much on here. Thank you guys. I'm humbled and appreciative of you guys uh, that I get uh, the opportunity to do this. And uh, thank you again for everybody that's helped uh, financially. Uh, what a blessing. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and uh, yeah, everybody on all the channels, Facebook, all that, uh, you know, send, always send a shout out to my little sisters. Appreciate you. Love you. Miss you. And uh, hey, I'll be, uh, I'll be squawking at you soon. Amen. Amen. Hang in there and keep the faith. God's got a plan, so we got to just keep uh, pushing and moving through. So, uh, amen. All right. Well, how are you doing, friends? I appreciate you. Let's continue. We're in chapter 2 as we just talked the power of God, friends. 
that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, not the wisdom of this world that come to naught. 1 Corinthians 1, 20. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Romans 16, 25 for that. Hey, but I've battled my glasses, too. Ugh, oh, mercy. All right, as we look at the laborers of God here, or with God, amen. Verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew, or had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God uh, hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by the Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God, friends. For what uh, man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things which are freely given to us of God. Of course, we know that's uh, grace there, friends. Unmerited, unearned, undeserved. It's a free gift of God. And why do we need that more than ever, friends? Amen. His grace. Amen. Now, which things also we speak in verse 13, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but with the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. 1 Corinthians 1 4, 2 Peter 1 16. Uh, 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things uh, of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? but he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Amen, right? All right. Battle with my glasses. I got a new pair finally. And uh, for some reason, like I said, they, you know, you guys know uh, throughout the podcast, I always kind of have to readjust them a, a few times. For, I don't know what it, what it is. I think it's my my headset or something. Amen. All right. Well, that's good enough to go here. <laughs> Amen. Oh, the technical problems. I love the challenge. Uh, friends, give me a minute here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Amen. What's going on? All right. Let me see what's going on here. Um, Um, let's see, it's not wanting to grab, um, there it is, all right, my, uh, well, where, you know, the on the Macs, they have the, uh, sound, uh, level where you can check, that's, that's what I've got up here, and trying to figure out, uh, you know, how to, how to readjust that, and make sure that volume level is not too loud for you, and how, how you do it? Amen. Let's get to it, friends. Chapter 3, 1 Corinthians. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.14 I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither uh, yet now are ye able. All right, for ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is nothing among, or there is among you envying and strife, friends, 
and divisions. Are you not carnal and walk as men? Uh, amen. All right. For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? That's 1 Corinthians 1.12. Who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. 1 Corinthians 4.1. I have planted, Apollos watered, but God, now you got to look to your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, uh, God that giveth the increase. Amen. Or he says, uh, but God gave the increase. Amen. All right, verse 7. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Amen. All right. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall, uh, let's see, shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Uh, that's a real key scripture there, Frederick. If you write notes there, uh, amen. Psalm 62, 12, 1 Corinthians 4, 5. For we are laborers together with God, and ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. Uh, and another uh, buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed uh, how he buildeth thereupon. Romans 1 5. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Isaiah 28 16. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, uh, let's see, in verse 13, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire, again, have you seen what's going on, what's happening here, uh, friends? Talks a, a lot about the fire thing going on here. Uh, if Let's see, go back over 15 just again here real quick. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Now, kind of backtrack just a little bit over 14 and 15 here. Uh, and let's go Let's go back, uh, repeat that again here, friends. Let's go down from 13. Now, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of sort, or what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward, friends. Uh, that's over First Corinthians 4, 5. Uh, man, one of these mornings, I'll get this fixed. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, oh boy. All right, let's see if we can keep going here. Uh, so I think we're back over in uh, about 13 or 14 here. Um, so let's go to 14. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Uh, first Corinthians four or five. Now let's go to 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved yet. So as by fire, Jude 23. And 16, know ye not that uh, ye are the temple of God, uh, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. All right, now if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Uh, let no man deceive you. Uh, himself, if any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. Proverbs 5, 7, of course. Uh, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, uh, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and again the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Uh, Psalm 94, verse 11. 
Therefore, let no man glory in men. Uh, let's see. For all things are yours. For uh, or whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Christ, of course, we know that we have become a new creature, a new uh, creation in Christ. And uh, Christ is God's, he says in conclusion of 23, Romans 14, 8. So there you go. What a great uh, set of scripture that is, friends. 1 Corinthians chapters 1 through 3. That's the first part there. Uh, amen or a... And we're going to roll on over to 2 Corinthians, kind of jumping through uh, some scriptures here. Uh, man, let me go back over here, 2 Corinthians, and we want 4 to 8 here, friends. Recapping a little bit, why not? We're having some church, amen. And uh, you know, glad to glad to jump on here again. So we want, oh yeah, we want to go back. Four, uh, chapter 4 here. All right. Give me a minute there. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see. Got that. So we want uh, 2 Corinthians, and we're going to go, uh, again, recapping uh, uh, First and 2 Corinthians here. All right. So chapter, what did I say? 4? Four. four. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Chapter 4, 2 Corinthians here, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, church. 1 Corinthians 7, 25. But we have uh, renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. All right. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. 2 Corinthians 2.17, 1 Thessalonians 2.3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. 1 Corinthians 1.18. In whom the God of this world, as we clearly see and know, the devil... Uh, this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shine unto them. For we preach, now watch this, friends, for we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for uh, Jesus' sake here. For God has commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure, friends. We really do. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. And the excellency of the power may be of God, friends, and not of us. All right, 1 Corinthians 2 5. Now, watch this. Let me get some coffee, a little, little uh, dry throat there. All right, so our weather went from the 90s to rain <laughs> all night long. It's raining now. I got the window open. That's why it's a little brighter in here than usual. But uh, we've got the. I have the windows open, and it has been raining since about 1:32 o'clock this morning, which is nice. It cools everything down, but. You know, it's it's uh, a strange way. And then you got the East Coast going, you know, from Canada all the way over. You got the fire and stuff going on. Um, uh, amazing. Biblical times. End times. We clearly see that, friends. So let's keep going here, right? So here's a good scripture for you, friends. I like to read Second uh, Corinthians chapter 4. And again, we're going to go from about verse 8 here. One of my go-to scriptures. It should be yours too, friends. All right, so let's get that down there. All right. Now, we are troubled, friends, on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, uh, but not in despair. 
uh, persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. Uh, Psalm 37:24. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you, 2 Corinthians 13, uh, 9, I believe that is. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, uh, I believed and therefore have I spoken, we also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he, uh, wait, there you go, wake up there, buddy boy. All right. Uh, amen. Knowing, friends, in verse 14, knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, and the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, Romans 7.22. For our light affliction, uh, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal uh, weight of glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary. It's temporal, friends. It will pass. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So now. The last time I tried to record on Millen, I got cut off. It only recorded an hour. So if that happens again, like I said, I probably will get back on here later on tonight on uh, on um, like I said, streaming our TV. Um, and I will go ahead and upload the audio part of the podcast up to YouTube and. Uh, I will post those out as often as, or as where I can. For some reason, I, and I don't know if it's because I got too much video uh, uploaded to Melon, if they can't just ha can't handle the the, the storage. Uh, but I don't know. And if uh, I will have to find out, I'll have to get a hold of their management and find out what's going on with that. But uh, so hopefully, uh, it will record the full podcast here so i don't know how i mean this will probably be one of the shortest videos or podcasts uh that i have done uh so i i may cut this off in an hour i we may just go here just a little bit longer and uh because i just don't want to take a chance that i i don't have the full process so we'll know when it hits that hour mark uh we're we're fairly close uh to that hour uh, already so uh amen so we'll we'll kind of see i'll watch it here and see how it goes but uh, at least i got most of it in uh so uh, again just our first part here and i if you know whatever i don't do i'll repeat later on so i i am planning on trying to get back on here tonight so it's in the plans i don't know if it'll happen but that's that's the plans for later on tonight's stream yard i got a new premiere video uh intro uh as i said i i uh, recorded a few of them on canva uh again got that channel covered so i will be uh recording some uh you know some really cool stuff but you gotta stick around come on back friends anyway live on melon tv trying to watch that uh, you know the timing here make sure it, it doesn't cut off but i get back on here and you know agitate the devil a little bit longer why not all right let's go to chapter five right here in second corinthians for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved we have a building of god a house uh, not made with hands eternal in the heavens 
For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so, that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being uh, burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. 1 Corinthians 15, 53, friends, on that. A building of heaven, right? Or in the heavens. Uh, in verse 5, right? Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also uh, hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit, Isaiah 29, 23. And therefore, we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, friends, we are absent from the Lord. Now, here you go. Again, you got to look to your neighbor and say, hey, 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 neighbor, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Too many people got that reverse. That ain't working out for you. So you got to walk by faith and not by by sight, friends, Romans 8.24 in the side scripture. Now, we are confident, I say, willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear. Now, here it is. Here's a warning, friends, biblically speaking. Uh, wow. Wow. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Uh, Job 31, 23, Jude 23. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat an answer uh, to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For the whether we be beside ourselves, church, it is to God. Amen. Or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge. That if one died for all, then we are all dead. And that he died for all, that uh, they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. But unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Uh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Matthew twelve fifty, Galatians 5, 6, and Colossians 3, 11. All right, um, let's see. 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, watch this, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Friends. And that's the proof right there. Amen. Now, all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us to, uh, to us uh, the ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed us under the word of reconciliation, Romans 3.24. Now we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, but, or be ye reconciled, friends, to God. Boy, these glasses, I tell you, brand new. I just got them, and uh, battling, battling the glasses thing here. All right. For we, uh, for he have made to be sin for us, church, who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of God in him, Isaiah 53, 6. So there you go on that one, uh, chapter 5. Let's go on to chapter 6 here, see what, uh, see how the progress is progressing. Who the progress, friend? I don't know. 
I don't know. Let's keep going, friends. How about chapter 6? Now we then, as workers together with him, beseech you that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in time accepted, and in the day of salvation that I secured thee. Behold, now is the day of salvation, Isaiah 49, 8, giving no offense in anything, that the ministry uh, be not blamed, right? Uh, but in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God. In uh, much patience and afflictions and necessities and distresses, 1 Corinthians 4, 1. In stripes, in imprisonments, uh, in tumults, in labors and watchings and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love, unfeigned, by the truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, first Corinthians two four, second Timothy four seven. By honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, uh, as nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Second Corinthians, I believe that's one three. Uh, ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowls. Now, there's, there you go. First hour, tin can. Good to be here with you, friends. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Tin can, that's it. Uh, June 9th, Friday. You made it. You got your first hour. We'll see you later on. Have a good uh, rest of your Friday. And you guys take care. Amen, friends. See you soon. Uh, ba -ba -do, ba -da -boom. Gotta make sure I hit the right buttons on that. It always throws me off. All right, so, uh, oh, wow. Um, what do we do here? Are we in seven or eight? Seven, I think. Maybe. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got to backtrack just a bit, just a bit here. Oh, well, I got sidetracked and and uh, kind of uh, thrown off here. So bear, I think we were in seven, uh, possibly. Maybe not. Were we all over in eight? Nope. <laughs> well, I knew we were going somewhere, but uh, let's see. Uh, straighten that out. Wow. All right. I'm... Let me backtrack here just a tad. Um, it always happens. I think we just started uh, in verse 6, and we were kind of going uh, over uh, to 12. So I guess we'll just pick up from there. If I messed up and, and <laughs> went in the wrong spot, it's okay. We're having a church service. That's that's kind of how things roll here. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, first hour. All right. So, in 12, 2 Corinthians 6, I believe. I don't know. I lost track. Couldn't remember where I left off at because uh, I had to take care of a couple of things here. Mercy. That happens. All right. Good enough. We'll move on. Uh <laughs> I don't know where we left off, so we'll just keep rolling through it. So he says, but we are straightened in your own bowls, or ye are straightened in your own bowls. Uh, now for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship uh, hath righteousness with unrighteousness in what communion have light with darkness deuteronomy 7 2 but what conquered at christ with belial or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel and what agreement hath the temple of god with idols for ye are the temple of the living god 
Uh, amen. Uh, let's see. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Now, wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, friends, he says. Uh, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you. Isaiah 52, 11. I will be a father unto you, and, and, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Now, I, again, completely lost track. Um... As we are in four to eight, so I I don't know if if that's where I left off or, or dropped off or something, but anyway, uh, we're just gonna read it. Uh, as I again continue just to battle with my glasses here, they just won't stay on; they keep dropping back, which is annoying. Friends, annoying. Well. The little sacrifices I make to do these podcasts, amen. I'm just, I'm appreciative. I really am. So it's, you know, it's a little thing to complain about, but the least of my complaints, seriously. I got a new set of glasses. I'm okay with that, but they won't stay up. So anyway, how y'all doing? Let's get back to the chapters here, friends. Chapter 7. Now, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God, 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. Uh, I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before that ye are uh, in our hearts to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Great is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. 1 Corinthians 1 4. Uh, for when we were coming to Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. Without were fightings, within were fears. Now, we can relate, right, uh, even to this day. Uh, again, the Bible is very relevant to what our, uh, what we go through and what are going through now, right, our, our trials and tribulations. So it says, within were fears. Uh, Nevertheless, God that comforted those that are cast down comforted us by the coming of Titus, and not by his coming only, but by the consolation wherewith uh, he was comforted in you when he told us your earnest desire, your mourning, your fervent mind toward me so that I rejoice the more. For though I made you sorry with a letter, I did not repent. And though I did repent, for I perceive that the same epistle hath made you sorry, though it were but for a season. Now I rejoice not that you were made sorry, but that ye sorrowed to repentance, for you were made sorry after a godly manner, that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. For godly sorrow worketh repentance or repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, uh, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. For behold, the selfsame thing that ye sorrowed after uh, a godly sort, uh, what carefulness it wrought in you. Yea, what clearing of yourself, yea, what indignation, yea, what fear, yea, what vehement desire, uh, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge in all things, ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. All right, wherefore, Though I wrote unto you, I did it not for this cause that had done the wrong, nor for his cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of God might appear unto you, Second Corinthians 2, 4. And therefore we have comforted in your comfort, yea, and exceeding the more joyed we are, or we for the joy of Titus, 
because the Spirit was refreshed by you all. For I have boasted uh, anything to him of you. I am not ashamed. But as we spake all things to you in truth, even so our boasting, which I made before Titus, is found of truth, or a truth. And his inward affection is more abundant towards you, while it remembereth the obedience of you all. All right. Uh, let's see how with fear and trembling you received him. I rejoice, therefore, that I have confidence in you in all things. Well, there you go. All right. So we are just in our hour, right? We're we're just in a, our first hour here. And like I said, I I will probably I'm watching because I don't want this to cut off again, but uh, I will probably be one of the shorter podcasts here. This afternoon uh, service here. Now, let's see. So, uh, we'll see. I'll, like I said, i got to kind of keep an eye on things and see where we're at. But I'll probably run it uh, the hour and 45 minutes with Block Talk Radio. They kind of gave us a grandfather to see in. So, amen, right? Oops. Uh, so, anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes and uh, maybe a, a shorter podcast today, friends. Amen. All right. So, Colossians, church. Colossians uh, chapters 1 through 4. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at that. So, let me grab that. Let me grab my supplies here. Uh, amen. All right. Just a couple little spots. You all know the story, what's happening with my notes here. Uh, and, by the way, just a little uh, little information here. The little scuff marks behind the cross. I, I, I thought I took those out, but apparently not. Um, I kind of redid the, the broadcast booth here uh, in Studio A. And apparently, I didn't. Uh, I didn't clean that up. So, but uh, I redid this whole corner of the wall. Um, I de- and I didn't. You guys can't see that, but that's just part of the background here. But I re right redecorated the whole thing, and uh, so I forgot to take care of the scuff marks in there. So you know, it, it won't be there on tonight's podcast uh, or the future podcast. But um, I just. <laughs> I just now noticed that I got scuff marks on my background. I haven't had a chance to, like I said, clean it up. But, uh, amen. So, anyway, I'm working on it. It's just a little work in progress. Get tired and, you know, I'm trying to work on things and get things taken care of here. It's it's quite the task, and I, I'm up for it. I'm I'm glad for it. But uh, it's, it's, it's daunting sometimes that I get behind schedule and try to, uh, try to get things taken care of. So, uh, as always, you guys, thank you for your patience. Uh, pretty amazing. So, anyway, I'm going through channel two on a back up here just to check it out, just to see what's happening here. So, I'll get this uploaded. It'll all be set in. You guys will be able to check it out later on tonight. I just, like I said, it's been uh, Monday late night, 11 o'clock. The last podcast I did was on, on uh, StreamYard. So, Switching things around, uh, again, you guys never, you know, I don't know. I never know when I get an opportunity. Things came up. It was open today, and I said, hey, yeah, let's go on. So, you know, do something. Let's get uh, preaching for the Lord, right? And have some church service on a, on Friday. I almost said Saturday. It's not Saturday yet. Tomorrow. Next, tomorrow. Uh, it will be on Restream for the weekend. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays on Restream TV. Amen. All right. So, again, watching the time here, we'll just, uh, what is it, a little over an hour, right? So, we'll probably go a little bit more here. Let's uh, go ahead and check out Colossians, my friends, uh, 1 through 4. 
Amen, amen, amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. Melon TV, Blog Talk Radio. Y'all know where you're at. Spreaker Channel 1 and 3, or 1 and 4 now. Uh, the new modem is set up, and uh, got that monitor right there on Channel 4, so that's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, upgrade and moving on forward, my friends. All right, let's get to our church. Uh, today, again, uh, June 9th, my friends, this afternoon, Friday, early afternoon podcast, a little after 2 o'clock, uh, you know, close, but about as on-time close podcast as I can get to, uh, amen. All right, shall we read some scriptures, friends? Amen. All right, uh, chapter 1, Colossians. Now, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timotheus, our brother, uh, Ephesians 1.1, 1, 1, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, as he says here, um, let's see, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love uh, which ye have to all the saints. For the hope, uh, friends, right there, let me get that taken care of here. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, 2 Timothy 4 8, which is come unto you as it is in all the world and bringeth forth fruit. As it doth also in you, since the day ye heard of it, and knew the grace of God in truth. Matthew twenty four fourteen, John fifteen sixteen. Uh, as ye also learned of Ephras, our dear fellow laborer, uh, or fellow servant, not labor, who is for. Let's see. Let me get this straightened out here. Uh, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ. Amen. Had to get some of these notes together here. Uh, amen. I try to fix them, and then all it does is kind of make them worse. So uh, I never know what, I, what I'm doing here. So let's see what I got. Uh, So, I think, let's see, I'm missing part of my notes here, and I don't know what that is. So, uh, for this cause, let's see, he, for this cause also, let's see, since, man, hold on here. I'm missing a whole lot of notes here, and I, I'm trying to guess what they are here. All right, so, uh, we also, since the day we heard it, do not. Uh, cease, there it is, boy, oh boy, I tell you, uh, hang on, uh, let's see, all right, missing pages, again, trying to, trying to get through it here, so since the day we heard of it, or heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, Romans 12, 2, Colossians 1, 3. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience, uh, and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and lights, uh, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us on, or into the kingdom of his dear son, Ephesians 6, 12. All right, um, let's see. Now, let's go to 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Uh, and we've got uh, Ephesians 1, 7. Now, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, Revelation 3.14. 
All right, uh, let's see. So we got 16, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, by him all things consist. Right? Uh, and he is the head of his body, the church, of course, we know, right? Amen? Uh, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence, Acts 26, 23, for it pleased the Father, right? That in him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him, I say whether they be in or be things in earth or things in heaven. And you <clears throat> that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable uh, in his sight. Luke 1 75. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which we have heard and which we have preached to every creature which is under heaven, wherefore I, Paul, am made a minister. John 15 6. Right. All right. Um, let's see. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. And wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill. The word of God, friends. And there you go, right? To fulfill the word of God. All right. Uh, in 26, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages now from generations, but has now made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known that his riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is, it is in, uh, is Christ in you, the hope, of glory, Romans 9, 23, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, uh, all right, amen, all right, uh, <laughs> we may be present or may present or present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, wherefore, I also labor according or labor striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. 1 Corinthians 15, 10 on that one. All right. Yawn in aisle six. Somebody get that brother a cup of coffee quick. <laughs> Man. Wow. I, uh, you know, like I said, y'all know my schedule here. It's uh, hectic and crazy and... Uh, I I podcast when I can and and uh, you know when God wakes me up and says hey, get on your get on your position amen I, I do so there you go all right amen so uh <laughs> man oh uh, boy all right so. Um, all right, so there you go. Uh, chapter two, let's proceed, my brothers and sisters here. For I would that ye know what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Uh, Philippians 1.30 that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and all the riches of full assurance of understanding, of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, 
and of the Father and of Christ, in whom we are hid, or are hid of all treasures of wisdom uh, and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Romans 16, 18. For I, though, or for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am, or am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order, right, and the steadfast of your faith in Christ. Again, which is the key here, friends, steadfast in the faith in Christ. First uh, Corinthians five three. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in Him. First Thessalonians four one, rooted and built upon or up in hither, right uh, or in Him, <laughs> established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding uh, therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceits, right. Uh, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ, right? I'm just saying, y'all know where that that was at there. Uh, amen. All right, so give me a minute here. Now, I heard somebody say that uh, you can't learn in school what the Holy Spirit gives you directly. I'm just saying. I'm throwing it out there. There you go. All right, anyway, let's move on. For him, let's see. Um, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, John 1, 16, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting of the off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ buried with him in baptism wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead and you being dead in your sins in the uncircumcision of your flesh hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it, church, to the cross. Right? There we go. Uh, and having spoiled uh, principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Genesis 3.15 but let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or respect of an holiday or holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days uh, there, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary uh, humility and worshiping of angels. Right? Is that what that says? Uh, intruding into all things which have uh, he had not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body, by joints and bands having nourishment, ministered and knit together, increase with the increase of God. Ephesians 4.15 Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ, uh, from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not. First Timothy four three, which are which all are to perish with the uh, uh, using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. Isaiah twenty nine thirteen, Titus one fourteen, which uh, let's see which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom in worship or in will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh, right? All right, so uh, again, just kind of keeping an eye on, on the clocks here. We'll see how things go. All right, chapter three. 
if ye then be risen, again, uh, friends, we're in Colossians here, chapter 3. If ye be then be risen with Christ, seek the things, or those things, which are above, uh, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Romans 6, 5. Set your affection on things above, not, church, on things or on the earth, on things of the earth. Right? Not on things on the earth, in verse 2. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Oh, almost lost my pen there. Now mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Romans 6.13 For which things sake uh, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Romans 1.18 In the which ye also walked uh, sometime when ye lived in them. Right in our darkness, in our uh, in our flesh, there. But now, you also put off all these: anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Ephesians four twenty two and Hebrews uh, twelve one. Why not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man and his deeds, or with his deeds? Leviticus uh, nineteen eleven, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image that created him where there is neither Greek nor Jew circumcision or uncircumcision barbarian Scythian bond nor free but Christ is all and uh, in all put on therefore as the elect of God holy and beloved uh, bowls of mercy kindness humbleness of mind uh, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If man, uh, if any man have a quarrel against uh, any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. I know. There you go. Uh, and above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Uh, John thirteen thirty four, First Corinthians thirteen one. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, friends, as we put on the new man here in Colossians. Uh, to the which also, and bear with me, there you go. Oh, to the which also, <laughs> I spend more time trying to adjust the, the, the laptops from shutting down then I have, you know, then I have to keep stopping here every once in a while. But, you know, at least they work. So that's a blessing, I guess, right? As we put on the new man and continue through the podcast here, friends. About to wrap it up here just a little bit. Not too much, but uh, just a little bit here. All right. Uh, so let's get back to that. He says, uh, to rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Romans fourteen seventeen, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And there you go. Man, all right. I... Uh, Jesus giving thanks to God and the Father by him. We got Romans 1 8 and Colossians 1 12. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it fit in the Lord. Ephesians 5 3, Titus 2 5. And let's see what's going on there. Right. Hang on here. I got a. a Channel out. Oh, bear with me here. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, 
controllers, all that stuff going on. Uh, I got a monitor that just popped out. So bear with me. Let me see what's happening here. And I can set your stuff in a little. Give me a minute. We got a we got a, a monitor out right now. Man. All right. Well, that's par for the course here, I guess. All right. Hey, man. All right. Let's keep going. I think we got a couple more here. Um, friends, Colossians one through four, of course. Now, as we continue in twenty. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto God, Ephesians 5.24. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Uh, what do we got? Ephesians 6.4. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, uh, fearing God, right? And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. Uh, Ephesians 6, 6. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the, uh, the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord uh, Christ. And now it says in verse 25, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Deuteronomy 10, 17. And let's roll on as we walk in wisdom here. Give me a minute. There we go. Uh, amen. All right. Chapter four. Right. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Ephesians six nine. Continue in prayer and watching the same with thanksgiving. With all praying also for us, that God would open up, uh, open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ. Right. Uh, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it uh, manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how ye ought to answer every man. Ecclesians, uh, or Ecclesiastes uh, 10, 12. All my state shall Tychicus declare unto you who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord. Ephesians 6, 21. Whom I have sent unto you, for the same purpose that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts. With Onimus, Onimus, there we go. Sounded out old school, my friends. That's right. Sounded out. Now, a faithful and uh, beloved brother who is one of you, they shall make known unto all, you all things which are done here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, saluted you, and Marcus. Uh, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom you have received commandments, if he come unto you, receive him. And Jesus, which is called uh, Justice, who are of the uncircumcision, or circumcision, uh, these only are my fellow workers under the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort to me, or unto me. Uh, Ephrus, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, salute if you also are always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete uh, in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you, and them that are in Laodicea, and them in uh, Hierapolis. I know. All right. Uh, Luke. The beloved physician and Demas greet you. Salute the brother which are in Lado our brethren in uh, Laodicea and Nymphus in the church which is in his house. And when the uh, when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodiceans. 
right? Or Laodicea. 1 Thessalonians 6.27 And say to Archippus, Take heed the ministry which thou hast received of the Lord, or in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. 1 Timothy 4.6 The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remember my bonds, grace be with you. Uh, amen and amen. There we go. All right. What a what a good set of scriptures. I know Colossians, I haven't been there in a while. I, I hadn't had a chance to, to get into that uh, chapter there. So we got Colossians. Oh, mercy. We got a lot. Uh, let's see. Um, I think we got enough time. I think we can go into First Thessalonians. Uh, friends, we'll get to a notebook here. Or the clipboard, right? Uh, my notes. And, uh, all right. So we're going to, I think we're going to maybe close out here. Uh, friends, First Thessalonians, right? I think I want to go ahead and just close out. I think this is a good spot to end the podcast here. Early. I know. I uh, let's see what uh, see what we can do here. All right, uh, chapter one, First Thessalonians, friends. We're gonna probably close out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, Paul and Savanus and Timotheus. As again, we are in the first book of Thessalonians here. Uh, Timotheus uh, unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 1.19, 2 Thessalonians 1.1. 1, 1. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. And remember without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. John 6, 29. Knowing, brother and beloved, your election of God, Colossians 3, 12. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. And a much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction uh, with joy of the Holy Ghost, Acts 5.41, 1 Thessalonians 2.14 for that, so that ye were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For uh, from you sounded our the word, or sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place. Uh, mercy. All right, uh, it, to, uh, to God word is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. Romans 1, 8, 2 Thessalonians 1, 4. But they themselves shew of us what manner of entering in we uh, had unto you and how ye turned to God from idols to serving the true or living and true God, 1 Corinthians 12, 2. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Matthew 3, 7. Chapter 2 in 1 Thessalonians recapping uh, the spot here. So let's keep going. we got a little bit of time here. For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you that it was not in vain. 1 Thessalonians 1, 5. But even... After that, we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, as ye know, at Philippi. We were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. Acts 16.22, Colossians 2.1. For our exhortation was not of deceit, right? All right. <coughs> All right, let's see what we got. First three. For exhortation was not a deceit, nor of uncleanness, nor in guile. Second uh, Corinthians 7, 2. 
But as we were allowed of God to be put in a trust with God with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God which trieth our hearts, friends, right there. For neither at any time use we flattering words, as we know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness, Acts twenty thirty three and Second Corinthians two seventeen. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you, nor yet of others. Uh, Paul's unblameable behavior. Now, when we might have been burdensome as of the apostles of Christ, John 5, 41, but we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishes her children, 1 Corinthians 2, 3, and 2 Corinthians 13, 4. So being affectionately desirous of you, uh, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail for uh, laboring night and day, because ye were not or would not be chargeable unto any of you, we preached unto you the gospel of God. Amen. For the kingdom, right? Now ye are witnesses in God also, how holy and justly and unblameably, unblameably, there you go, uh, we behaved ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we exhorted, uh, let's see, exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father doth his children that you would walk worthy of God who has called you unto his kingdom uh, by or and glory there right uh, his kingdom and glory for uh, Corinthians first Corinthians 1 9 for this cause also thank we God without ceasing because when he received the word of God which he have heard of us ye received it not as the word of men here you go watch this friends uh let's see but as in the truth the word of god which effectually worketh also in you that believe or believe yeah believe there you go <coughs> for ye brethren became followers of the churches of god which is in Judea, are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things uh, of your own countrymen. Uh, friends, there you go. Even as they have of the Jews. Acts 17, 5, Galatians 1, Who both killed the Lord Jesus, uh, let's see, and their own prophets, and have persecuted us. They please not God and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to uh, speak of the Gentiles that they might be saved, to fill up their sins all way for the wrath has come or come upon them to the uttermost. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, and devoured the more abundantly. Uh, to see your face with great desire. 1 Corinthians 5, 3, 1 Thessalonians 3, 10. And wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Friends, as again, I always talk about this. Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or crown or joy or crown of rejoicing are not even ye in uh, the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Uh, for ye are our glory and joy. All right, let's roll on to chapter three, friends. First Thessalonians today. Let's uh, let's get to it. Now, wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone and sent. Timotheus, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you uh, concerning your faith. That, uh, let's see. 
That you man should be moved by these afflictions, I believe. Uh, amen. Yourselves know that we are appointed, or that we are appointed there unto. All right, uh, verse four. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it come to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter or the devil I have tempted you and our labor be in vain. But now when Timotheus came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, that ye have good remembrance of us always, uh, desiring greatly to see us, uh, as we also as he says, also to see you, Acts 18.1, friends, for your side scripture on that. Now, therefore, brethren, we are comforted over you in all our aff uh, affliction and distress in your faith, or by your faith. For now we live if we stand fast in the Lord, friends. Amen. I know, that's tough. Sometimes it's it's tough. We you know, but we got to stand fast, my friends. Amen. All right, uh, Philippians four one. For what thanks can we render to God again for you, for all the joy wherefore we joy for your sakes before your God or our God, night and day praying, uh, exceeding that we might uh, see that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking. Uh, in your faith. All right. Uh, now God himself and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct their way unto you. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men. Even as we do, uh, let's see, as, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable. Friends, unblameable, right? Uh, let's see. In holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Oops. Give me a minute here. Let me fix my clipboard notes here. Uh, amen. I'm going to sneeze again. I don't. I think it's because of the weather. The weather changes. All the time here. So, all right, let's go to four, friends. Amen. One more, and I think we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Amen. All right, chapter four in First Thessalonians. All right. Uh, furthermore, when we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as you have received of us, how you ought to walk and to please God, so you would abound more and more. For you know what commandment, commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should uh, uh, let's see, abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles, which know not God, uh, Romans one twenty four that no man go beyond and defraud his brother. All right, um, in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God had not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Friends, there we go. Uh, he therefore that despiseth. Uh, uh, despises, despises not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, we need, we need not that I, hold on, man, all right, uh, <laughs> yourselves are taught of God to love one another. 
And indeed ye do uh, it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. And, but we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Uh, and that ye steady to be quiet and to do your own business, friends. Uh, and see, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and may have, may have lack of nothing. But I would not, as I battle my bookmarks, as always, why not? You know, throw that in there, in the mix, right? Uh, what's going on with this? Oops, let's see. There it is. All right, let's see if we can't get through this here. Uh, and if you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we command you, or commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. Right, let's let's fix this spot right here, uh, my friends. Amen. Give me a second or two here. Oh, why not? You know, have a little uh, have a little uh, setup here. Amen. Well, at least while I can see it anyway, you know, it's it's always a good thing to try to catch this stuff as best I can. Uh, amen. Right. All right. Let's keep going, and we're at for thirteen, I guess. Now, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God uh, bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, Matthew 24, 30. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Again, the rapture, however you want to call it, it's the rapture there. And shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. John 12, 26 and Acts 1, 9. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, friends. Amen. So, chapter 5, I think we could close out here, friends. I think that's, we're almost at that two-hour mark anyway. We may as well go ahead and, and just close out with this one. But of the times in chapter 5 and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Matthew 24, 3. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, friends. Uh, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, and that or that that day uh, should overtake you as a thief, Romans 13, 12. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day, and ye are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep uh, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Luke 21, 34. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor. Uh, friends, right there. Let me get that together. Uh, among you, and that's the fivefold ministry. They're talking about the pastors, the, the you know the shepherds of the of the of God's flock, right? As we are called, Amen. 
among you and or over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, friends, he says, we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but uh, ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Leviticus 19, 18 there. Rejoice evermore, 2 Corinthians 6, 10. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the Spirit. Despise not the prophesizings. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. 1 Corinthians 2.11 Abstain from all appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians uh, 4.12 and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And uh, I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, uh, who also will do it. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.3, or I believe 1.9. Yep, it's 1.9. Uh, brethren, pray for us. Greet all brethren with an holy kiss, Romans 16, 16. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read and all the holy brethren, Colossians 4, 16 for that. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Uh, amen and amen. All right. Well, that was a good set of scriptures, my friends. A good church service for this afternoon. Early Friday. Had an opportunity. You know, and uh, I was like, well, I better get on there. It's been an, it has been a few days since I had a chance to get live, uh, you know, go on, go on and do another Bible study. You know, like I said, friends, thank you guys for your patience on this. I My schedule is so hectic and out of control, uh, you know, with the, with the, with the, what is it, the problems and the issues during the daytime and Wi-Fi battles I get, uh, you know, it's it's rare that I, I get the afternoon podcast. I I want to. I was originally set out to do that, but of course, you know, having the interference that I do, uh, and and of course the ongoing continuing Wi-Fi issues is is, you know, I do what I can. I I get on when I can, and, and if I I thought about well maybe, uh, if I do get an hour or so, I could probably do an audio uh, live broadcast on Spreaker and at least get that out every day. Uh, but again, things change and I never know. So I kind of got to roll with what I got and do what I can here. And, you know, and, and that's, again, that's everything got kind of diverted out to the late night podcast, which is, you know, which is the, the good thing about the, the internet stuff, the, you know, the channels is you can all, you can just watch them at your convenience, right? I just record them and load them up and there you go. So. Amen. All right. Well, that's it, friends. Uh, I'll go ahead and reset this, and uh, we'll go ahead and close out with that. And uh, I should see you back here later, unless something changes or happens. I never know. I I don't know from one day to the next what's going on with the schedule. Uh, amen. Let's go ahead and get that out there. So that's it for me. I'll I'll go ahead and reset the scheduling here, kind of see how things go and uh, what's going on. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad to be on, friends. I'm glad to get a chance to get on here. Uh, a little after four o'clock uh, in the daytime. I know. Don't don't adjust your your TVs. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> hey man, I was like, well, like I said, I got an opportunity. Let's let's go ahead and just just do some preaching here. Let's do a Bible study. Uh, thanks for putting up with all the stuff, friends. Uh, again, new glasses, so I think they're stretching out a little bit. Uh, amen. And, of course, the million times of adjusting my microphone here. One of these times, and actually, I pushed it back a little bit here, too. Uh, I moved it back, uh, moved the arm back a little bit, so I've got some, uh, somewhat of a space uh, between it there. Anyway, let me close out the channels. Oh, you guys have been awesome. 
so much. Thank you guys again. Uh, Squeaker. And we're going to go, uh, friends, real quick. I think what I want to do, uh, we will go ahead and let's see if on the right uh, channel there. All right, so, uh, yeah, what do we got? Radio.co, see you on the next broadcast. Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. On Friday, June 9th, my friends, amen. We'll close that out. I'll see you later, friends. Take care, and I'll talk to you later. Amen. All right. Uh, amen. There's Radio.co, and let's close out, of course, uh, Channel 4 on uh on uh what is it uh channel four spreaker.com friends see you guys later talk to you soon or later not soon well later yeah anyway take care you guys all right if i can do that without messing that up <laughs> i never know ah mercy so many things i gotta do here try to remember all right, let's close out Blog Talk Radio. That's it for you guys. I'll see you on the next uh, here, friends, the Friday afternoon Power Hour Plus podcast live on Blog Talk Radio. 619-924-9866 is the number, but don't call it because I'm trying to work it out. <laughs> Amen. You guys take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, friends. All right, uh, hold that thought. And let, it is uh, processing it out, so that's it for that. Spreaker.com, see you on the next podcast. Take care, I'll just load it up on the channels very shortly here, friends. Take care. Uh, amen and amen. All right, see you soon, friends.